One misunderstanding of business modeling and business strategy in general is that you can actually sketch a business model on a piece of paper and this is going to work in the real world <laughs> as it is. This is uh, really something that uh, almost uh, never happens and if it happens it means that you were very lucky as an entrepreneur to stumble upon a business model that was you know, uh, so um, uh, in line with the, with, the, with the current landscape that you managed to actually build a valuable company on top of, this, of those sketches. In reality, the reason why we use business modeling as a way for us to test a business strategy is because we want to be as dynamic as possible. We want to move fast in a messy uh, real world to actually understand uh, things that are very ambiguous uh, and noisy that uh, will bring us toward the desired long-term objective. So business modeling is not about sketching something on a piece of paper while this is nice, it gives us comfort, and it's something completely different from a business plan where in a business plan you write a lot of stuff on a piece of paper and those might be and they might look good for an investor if they want to give you money but it's not working in the marketplace because as soon as you start operating you see that even the smallest the most trivial assumptions will not work out as intended you will understand that the real world is going to not only kill your business plan is not it's going to not only kill the sketches of the business model that you had but that you need to have many many hypotheses and are moving uh, many moving parts of this business model so that you can test as quickly as possible in a messy world by giving coherence to something which is completely noise and uh, ambiguous that is how you build a long-term successful business model and again it requires a lot of tweaks twists exper experimentation and a little bit of serendipity but that's what business modeling is about